Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to be discussing what are the four benefits of becoming a data analyst. So today data analytics has become an exciting and rapidly growing field due to the explosion of data we see everywhere. The good news is that I do not see how this explosion of data can stop or decrease. Organizations employ more and more data analysts in order to help them turn their data into insights and add more value to the business. But what's in it for the analyst? What are the benefits? So the first benefit of becoming a data analyst is job opportunities. Whether you are looking to start your career in analytics or you are looking to move on from your existing position, there are tons of jobs of data analytics jobs available in the market. Almost all companies in all industries need to have analytics in place due to the vast data we generate and collect. So the data analytics market for a data analyst and a data scientist is growing rapidly. Right, so according to a study done by IBM, the demand for data scientists, they also include analysts in this uh, equation, will so will increase by 28% by 2020, which is massive. Additionally, what's interesting in this study is that it says by 2020, the number of data science and analytic jobs listing is projected to grow by nearly 364,000 listings and it's gonna reach, so this um, uh, 2.3 million it was in 2015 and by 2020, it's gonna reach 2.7, million, which is a 15% increase. Again, which is, is basically evidence of how much data analytics is growing in general. Additionally, a study done by LinkedIn using LinkedIn data um, revealed that uh, data scientists, and they are including analysts too, is one of the 10 most promising jobs of the future. So you can see that it had 45% increase year on year in terms of job openings. And the career, uh, career advancements is also very high, 8 out of 10. Some other supporting evidence, which I find very, very useful, is a study done by the future, uh, sorry, by the World Economic Forum about the future of jobs. So if we read this report, there's a very, very interesting graph down here, that, this one that says, technologies by proportion of companies likely to adopt them by 2020. So these are the technologies that companies are going to adapt in the future. And if you read the first five technologies, the first one is about data analytics. So again, it shows how much data is going to be used in the future. The third one is about the Internet of Things, which it requires a lot of data to achieve this. The fourth one is about machine learning, which is again about data. And the fifth one is cloud computing which again is about data, is about how you store all your data into virtual machines and how you use uh, your analytics tools on virtual machines. Uh, all these evidence are basically showing how important uh, data is gonna be in the future. Now, all this should come to no surprise considering how much data we generate every second. Now, there is a very, very nice infographic done by Laurel Lewis, this is amazing, that shows how much data is being generated every 60 seconds, every minute. And this, this is just internet data, we're not even considering retail or um, offline data, which is again, massive. So just by looking the spend online, we can see that it's almost like a million per, per minute. That's, that's like 60 millions per hour, which is like, 1.4 something billions per day, which is crazy. Now, just by looking at all these newly created data and all the evidence I've provided before, we can conclude that um, individuals that work in data or individuals that look to start uh, working in data are gonna have multiple job opportunities in the future for several different industries to choose to work for. It's almost like a, a guaranteed job security working in data because if you pack a lot of data skills in your CV and then you get fired, um, it's called let go by the way these days, then you can still find new job opportunities because the demand is so high. By the way, if you feel that you're getting enough value out of this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. So the second benefit of becoming a data analyst is that it's not a routine job. 
Do you often hear people complain that their work is boring or they are doing the same thing over and over again uh, at their job? Well, working as a data analyst is not going to be like that, at least after the first few months that you start working as a data analyst. The reality is, as soon as you start working as a data analyst, you will spend some time learning the standardized reports, which can be considered as a routine work. However, you will also be learning new things as you go along. Things like how to use tools like Excel, SQL, visualization tools like Power BI, Tableau, and ClickSense. Also, you will be learning how to create dashboards and nice visuals. Additionally, you will also be learning how to generate stories out of your data. After a few months at work, you will start attending meetings with your clients or colleagues where you're going to be discussing ideas about new projects coming up in the pipeline. Also, you're going to have to present the results of your analysis back to them, so you're going to be having constantly new meetings. Additionally, after a few more years, you will start picking up additional uh, software languages like Python and R, and most probably you're going to be involved in some sort of machine learning projects. Another positive thing here is that all these projects you're going to be working on are most probably going to be in different industries like the tech industry, consumer electronics, finance industry, etc. etc. Also, those projects can be on different departments, like the marketing department, the finance department, the operations department, etc, etc. So you get the idea here, being involved in so many different things and learning so many new things and different things all the time, it means that the data analyst is definitely not a routine job. If you do work as a data analyst and you find yourself doing the same thing over and over again or you think it's boring, then maybe it's time for you to move on. Now, the third benefit of working as a data analyst is that it's exciting, it's mysterious and it's fascinating. Imagine working in a place where you constantly learn new things, where you constantly have to stress your mind to solve problems versus being bored at your desk. Well, working as a data analyst could satisfy that to a very high degree. As a data analyst, you won't just be learning new skills like Excel, SQL, Python, R, and visualization tools. You will also be learning how the businesses work in general. For example, you will learn how the marketing department works, how operations work, how finance works, how retail works, etc., etc. So you're going to be getting greater visibility in all aspects of the business. Now that's exciting now, isn't it? Additionally, your job will be to discover new things, insights from the data. You don't know what you don't know in this case, so you're going to have to act like a detective to get those hidden insights, the unknowns from the data, which makes your job a bit mysterious. Now, as an analyst, you get personal satisfaction each time you discover a hidden insight. Hit that like button if you ever felt that. Now, the reason it's fascinating is because of the rapid growth of data analytics in general. As data grows larger, we come up with new ways of doing things, smarter ways of doing things, which makes this field so fascinating, especially if you're using machine learning. Machine learning is considered the most cool thing in the tech industry right now, so it adds to the excitement. So when you use machine learning, it makes you sound, look and feel smarter. The fourth benefit of becoming a data analyst is that it pays very well. According to Glassdoor, the average data analyst salary for the UK is on 30k with the lowest being on 21k and the highest being on 42k. If we look at the US, again Glassdoor, is that the average data analyst salary is around £65,000 a year, which these salaries are actually amazing for graduates that are looking to start their career in data. In other professions, they, some individuals have to work for years until they reach these salaries. And what's even more amazing is that with a few years of experience, let's say two to three years experience, you can increase your salary by 10K because you can become a senior analyst and then if we see the average uh, salary for senior analysts at 10k more are almost on 40k another interesting study done by Azuna 
here, it shows that the average data analyst salary in London is on 50K. But here, I assume they include uh, uh, senior analysts and people who have years of experience too, not just graduate analysts. Uh, the important stats I see here, the first one is that the data analyst vacancies in London have gone up by 2.8% year on year. So again, we see an increase in job listings. And the other one, which is the most uh, interesting one, is that the average advertised salary for a data analyst in London is 18% above the average salary for all jobs in London, which is 42K. So here you can see how much ahead of the curve data related jobs are in terms of the job market. Another positive thing here is that you can advance your career to data scientist after a few years of work experience and also gaining some extra skills, extra data science skills, and then you can increase your uh, salary even more. So if we look at Glassdoor, the average salary, data scientist salary in the UK is on almost, uh, no, is on 46.5K. Uh, here, I assume it's because we see a lot of graduate data scientist position. That's why it's quite low. Uh, and then if we see the US, it's on more than 100K, it's almost 120K a year, which is, is massive. It's an amazing salary. It's one of the most highest paid jobs across the whole market. Right. I hope you enjoyed this video and gain enough value out of it. If you feel like you did, please click that like button and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or you want to share your views about uh, the four benefits, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching.